What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. For those who are new here, hello and welcome. And for all of my returning subscribers, hey girl. So today we are getting into my monthly layout. I like to use this planner for my social media planning, obviously. I do YouTube videos and I also have a planner Instagram page that I just like to keep everything up on. So this, mm, excuse me, <coughs> this planner kind of helps me along the journey of trying to stay organized with all those things. So it is the month of December. So this is the planner that I am, that I've have been using and that I will continue to use in 2022. Definitely look forward to a full planner lineup video, but that's not what this is about. This is about my monthly layout. So let's go ahead and pull that out. And I just like setting this to the side because usually I'll at least have two months in my catch-all, which is here, at a time, just two months at a time. So as I rotate one month in, I'll always rotate another month out. So like I said, we're starting here in December. Um, typically for the calendar spread, don't do too much here, but I think I want to just add a little something something just indicating that it is December and what I like about this planner is as you can see everything is very very neutral so I just have the merry and bright sticker book here and I'm feeling like maybe we can add just a little sham 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 actually you know what I'm not going to use this I want to use the winter collections book um i recently used this in my other calendar spread so i'm feeling like maybe we can use one of these florals or some of these florals to make things pop in yeah so i'm thinking i want to just go with this guy along here or this guy along here. Oh, yeah. I almost never really decorate these pages, so I'm kind of at a loss right now. I don't know. I don't know. What do I want to do? Um, yeah, let's just go for it. Let's maybe take this larger one. There's two of these, so let's take this larger one here. And I'm, I want to split it up some. So maybe do something like this. That way I can kind of spread it out amongst the page. So let's move this out of the way. Let's go on ahead. I'm going to use this guy to go along the edge here because I also need to cut out the December portion. So there we go. Okay. It's looking real cute. Maybe use one of these boxes here. Just says joy to the world. Pop that here like that. And then maybe use one more floral. Like that. All right, so that's all that I'm going to do on this page. And eventually I'll find like an icon or something that just says goals. But let's move on to the dashboard pages. I'm going to move this off to the side. Move these off to the side. That way they're not getting on my nerves. And high key, it looks like we are rolling with this same thing because I always like to match things up. So let's see. Let's go here and I'm just going to put this 
right here that just says tis the season it's cute and then let's use this little bit here um maybe over here that it's looking cute already what I love these stickers y'all all right so for monthly goals I like using just like three little dots so we'll just do you know three different colors this little branch here just to add to that a little bit boxes up here that I think I want to use a little bit of this washi as well just to kind of cover some areas up I almost never really use this section as a thankful section even though I could, you know. So let's go on ahead and tie that in over here as well. All right, so that is pretty much it for the dashboard pages. And I'll go back and fill all of this stuff out and I'll come back and show you guys. But for now, let's move on to the daily task sheets. Um, I believe I shared in the past I typically don't do just a whole lot of decorating on these pages and I don't think that this this month I'm going to do a whole lot I'm thinking I might just add a little bit of washi up towards the top and I'm going to indicate all of the dates and that's going to be it so let's go ahead and get into that All right, and in the Christmas Joy Book, there are some dates in here. If we can find them, where they at, where they at? And these pretty much go like perfect with that. So I am going to use these guys to indicate all of my dates. All right, I have everything dated. It looks so pretty, so classy. And the only sticker that I put down was this guy. And actually, I actually feel like maybe I could have put it down here or maybe I can just find something else real quick to put down there in the corner. That's kind of fun and festive, but I know for a fact that I want it to be a paper sticker, which I don't think that there's many in the Christmas joy, but let's say hmm. yeah I'm not even going to worry about it because 
I don't look at these pages so much where it actually concerns me. So at this point, I am going to write down all of my goals and things. And yeah, we'll do a quick flip through. All right, you guys, here is the completed look of my monthly layout. As you can see, calendar page, pretty much nice and clean. I just noted my video ideas as well as the things that I will be tracking. I'll do my monthly goals and like fill out the rest of the things off camera, but I just wanted to give you guys an idea of how I use the spaces Obviously, I'm tracking my YouTube posts, my IG posts, and my reels and my lives, which I'm I'm tipping my toe in the pond, not going full blown, like not yet. Um, I will write down any channel goals I have, any things that I need to purchase or send out, etc. I'll have that listed here. Any specific themes that I want to keep track of or keep in mind, I will list here obviously video ideas, top priorities. And then here in the past, I've liked to use this area for any, um, any Instagram or YouTubers that I've pulled inspiration from. I like to have this section here to write down names. That way I can remember to give them a shout out or anything of that manner. So that's pretty much it for these pages. And like I said, just the, it's a vibe y'all. I really like this look. I think it looks really clean. It doesn't have my brain all jumbled up because honestly, the way that I did it last month, I was all over the place y'all. Like having these like little clusters, it was just too much. So I like the list to be nice and clean. And then maybe I'll go back in and like put boxes in the areas that I know that I need to get my bulk filming done because this month, y'all, it's going to be jam-packed. And we'll talk about more of that later. But yeah, so this is pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching and seeing the process of me setting up my monthly layout planner. Um, this specific planner, I don't think that it's available on the Happy Planner website anymore, but maybe you can find it on Amazon or even in some of your, um, maybe your Hobby Lobby or Joanne Fabrics. I know for a fact, Joanne Fabrics, I did still see 18 month planners and that's what this was. So hopefully it's still there. If it's not, I apologize, but this is a monthly layout happy planner for those that may ask. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm all done here. I thank you guys so much for stopping by. I wish you all health, wealth, and prosperity. Please make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And until the next time, peace out.